Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous presentation, we understood the definition of C++ programming language. That is we got to know what C++ is. Now we are in this presentation and the name of this presentation is History of C++. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. There is only one topic and the name of the topic is History of C++. So let's quickly dive into the history of C++ so as to get to know how C++ was born. The journey of C++ begins in 1979 at Bell Laboratories where young computer scientist Beane Strout Strupp who got his PhD from Cambridge University in Distributed Systems was working on distributed systems. He wanted to simulate distributed systems so as to know its complexity. So he needed a programming language for this purpose. He got to know about Simula 67 which is meant for simulation purposes. He decided to simulate distributed system with the help of Simula 67 and he was quite fascinated with this programming language as well because of the object-oriented features it offered. With the help of those features, he was able to model real-world entities and later he realized that object-oriented features can also help in developing large-scale applications. Although Simula was quite powerful, but it lacked speed and performance. He was also fond of C programming language because of speed and performance it offered, but it lagged object-oriented features. So C was not suitable for developing large-scale applications and to model real-world entities. So he thought, what if he could combine the powers of these two programming languages into one programming language? He decided to take the object-oriented features from Simula 67 and speed and performance from C programming language and combine them into one programming language. This led to the foundation of what we now call C++ programming language. What happened next? During 1979 and 1983, he worked on C with classes, constructors, destructors, inline functions, and other object-oriented features. He wanted to take all the object-oriented features and put them inside C programming language. The result that he got was C with classes. He named his language C with classes because it is the C programming language with object-oriented features. In 1983, he decided to change the name of his language to C++. This name was inspired from the increment operator which is available in C programming language. If you don't know this already, with the help of increment operator, it is possible to increment a value by 1. The same thing Biane also want to indicate here. Here plus plus means that C++ is the successor of C or it is the newer version of C. That is why the name C++. I hope it is clear to you now why C++ is called C++ and how C++ was born. With this, we are done with this topic that is history of C++ and we are done with this lecture as well. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.